Hello, welcome to this video. We are going to upgrade the RAM on our Acer Aspire 5 slim laptop. We got our 32 gigabytes of DDR4 right here. We have our plastic prying tools to open up the laptop and we have our PH1 screwdriver. So first thing we want to do of course is flip the laptop over. Then we are looking to remove 10 screws. You are only going to need one screwdriver for this job and that's the PH1. Screw number two, we got our third screw right here. Yeah, what's great about this laptop is none of the holes are really that deep and the screws are pretty easy to remove. So we got screw number four. Also toward the end of the video, I will put a couple screenshots of before and after. So screenshots of the RAM and then you know how many how much RAM's available and then another screenshot of the GPU where in terms of dedicated GPU and shared GPU memory. So yeah, cuz uh the increase in the RAM on this, it's going to give it it's going to provide a lot more uh, shared GPU memory. So you guys will see it at the end of the video. So we are just removing our screws for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the last four is what I'm working on right now. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll, 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 try my, I'll do my best to help you out. All right, so we got 10 screws removed. Now time for the challenging part, which is opening the laptop using the plastic prying tools. As you can see right here, there are signs that we have opened up this laptop before. That was when we added the 2.5 inch SSD. So not my best work, like I said in my previous video. Nevertheless, fun project, fun upgrade, and to be honest, I don't think anybody's really gonna notice, um, you know that I opened up this laptop. Yeah, that's why I like practicing on these um, good budget value laptops. So, you know, it doesn't really hurt me. Let's say if I break it or something, it doesn't really hurt. Um, I won't feel too bad. You know. Plus practice makes perfect. So that's why we're practicing. So for the plastic uh, prying tools, uh, in my opinion, for me, the best technique was just to kind of gradually open it all around and uh, try not to force it. So I was most careful around the hinge parts and the uh, the part where that vent is. That's where I was trying to be the most cautious because those seem to be the um, parts of the bottom cover that, you know, that looks like it could break to me or, you know, they look like the most... Uh, I don't know if fragile is a term, but yeah. So I just kind of just slip the prying tool all around. I mean, this is the second time we're opening up this laptop, so it is much e much easier now. And I kind of know what to expect, so. Yeah, I'm also going to try to make uh, another video game video test after we do some, uh, well, after the RAM upgrade, I'm going to upgrade the SSD as well because, uh, you know, it's really hard to test games when you have such limited amount of space. Like the first, you guys saw my other video, the, uh, who that was a challenge, 120 gigabytes. And, uh, you know, I tried to fit in three games, which, uh, luckily it worked, but like if I'm going to try some of the, you know, more intensive games. For this laptop, it's uh, it was it was kind of a challenge because you know you need you need hard drive space. So yeah, this is not a gaming laptop, but uh, I do get a lot of questions about gaming, especially on the budget laptop because you know everybody tries to game on a budget. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people. So it's actually really cool how people um you know 
have fun upgrading their laptops and you know getting the most out of their uh, you know their money so now that the bottom cover is out you guys can see the 2.5 inch Lexar SSD that we installed right here and first step we got to do is to disconnect the battery now that we have the case open so I'm just using a plastic prying tool I'm gonna gradually remove this connection right here you can use your hands too uh, the purpose of this is safety just because um, you know it's usually advisable to make sure there's no power going to the motherboard especially when we touch components shout out to the person in the comments who uh, mentioned safety so yeah like I said I'm gonna try to include that in the videos so for the RAM it's pretty easy so you just um, move the things to the side and it'll pop out and then you can just pull it out so it inclines. So this RAM actually looks like it is a 266 megahertz, but the computer can only run it at 2400 megahertz. So now we're going to open up our RIP JAWS, which is a DDR4, 32 gigabytes at 2400 megahertz. So I'll put a link in the description below for this RAM. It was the best deal I could find um, at the time. So, you know, we're going to find out how well it performs, but uh, so far it looks pretty solid. And like the price is great. Not the fastest RAM out there at 2400 megahertz, but uh, like I mentioned earlier, I don't think the laptop can go beyond 2400 megahertz because I looked at the stick. Well, I confirmed it. People were already telling me about it, but I looked at the RAM stick that came with this laptop and it was a 4 gigabyte, 22666 megahertz and a stick of RAM. And, uh, you know, when I was checking the stats on this thing uh, during the... Uh, unboxing it was just running it at 2400 megahertz if that makes sense so i just got to put that down right there so easy peasy for the ram nothing too fancy so hopefully you guys can see that you just put it in there it's inclined and then you just kind of gently push it down and then now we want to reconnect the battery. So I just gently push in the connector and I'm going to use my plastic prying tool. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, you don't have to use the plastic prying tool. For me, it's just easier for me to push it in. So I go a little on the left and a little on the right and a little bit on the left, a little on the right. And then just, I just gently push it in. Yeah, I do like how this laptop is configured and how they made it easy for people to upgrade. So great job to Acer for that. Now we can put back the bottom cover and I'm just going to gently close it up. I'm going to go around a couple times. Awesome. You can kind of hear the clicking sound so you know it's kind of secure. Beautiful. Now we can put back the 10 screws. So yeah, you can put the screws back in any order too. There's really no specific order that I've noticed in terms of the screws. For me, I just kind of go by row just because it's easier for me. So nothing too fancy. I really do like the silver though on this laptop. Well, it kind of reminds me on Mac. And if you guys saw the um, unboxing video, this is actually my first Windows 10 uh, laptop that you can open up with one hand in terms of like opening up the, the cover, the screen. So this thing is pretty awesome, especially for the price. Around 350 bucks. Oh, by the way, so the RIP JAWS, the DDR4 at 2400 megahertz, the uh, two 16 gigabyte sticks, uh, it was about 110 bucks. So in my opinion, that is a pretty good deal for 32 gigabytes of uh, RAM right there. But, you know, prices fluctuate all the time, especially for, um, you know, like RAM SSDs. Like it could be 
you know this price and it could be higher or lower the next uh, sometimes i think it has to do a lot with um supply and demand so sometimes i notice that uh, they tend to jack up the price when something gets really popular like ram or ssds so that's what i've noticed so far so it's a, this is my first g skill ddr4 um ram so i've never used that before i'm usually i usually use patriot memory but uh you know i'm trying out different brands so I'm just giving a little bit of a wipe with a microfiber cloth and a little bit of a rubbing alcohol just to kind of disinfect the laptop a little bit. Now, when I booted it up, um, everything went smoothly. Um, it just recognized it right off the bat. I didn't have to like reboot or anything. And then, oh yeah, I'm putting away the original RAM. So like I said, this is a 2666 four gigabyte stick that came with the laptop, but it only runs it at 2400 megahertz from what I've seen. So in the task manager, it does recognize the memory. So available RAM is 27.4 gigabytes, which is interesting. And in the GPU, you can see the shared GPU memory and the dedicated GPU memory. So I'm gonna put up some screenshots before and after now so you guys can see the difference. So memory wise, you are looking at four gigabytes compared to the 32 gigabytes, one out of two slots, two out of two slots. So here, the GPU part is the interesting part. You got 15 gigabytes of shared GPU memory now and two gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory after the upgrade. Previously, it was 1.7 and 512 megabytes for the, um, 512 megabytes for the dedicated GPU memory and uh, 1.7 gigabytes for the shared GPU memory. So that is pretty cool. There's definitely a difference uh, you know, I'm kind of learning as I go too, so in the future, I will try to do that for other laptops as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I'm talking way too much. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.